So far we have seen that a triangle has three vertices or three points. Now joining these three vertices, I get three sides. Now rather than naming these sides AB, AC, BC, again and again, for ease what we can do is, we can just name the side opposite to an angle by a small letter. So I call this side BC as A because it is opposite to vertex A. So I call this side as A which is a small letter. Now side opposite to capital letter B would be small letter B. This is the side opposite to B and the side opposite to C here would be small letter C. So I can represent opposite sides by small letters. Now with these three sides I know I get three angles also. Just like opposite sides we can have opposite angles also. Now opposite angles would be the angles that lie on the opposite side. So BC is the opposite side to A and angle B and angle C are the opposite angles to A. Similarly if I talk about opposite angles to B then opposite side to B is AC. Opposite angles would be angle A and angle C, the angles that are on that opposite side. Now these opposite angles or these angles in fact, we had seen that they are actually the interior angles. So I can say that these are interior angles and hence A and C are opposite interior angles to B or interior opposite angles whatever you want to say but you can include the term interior there. So A and C are opposite interior angles to B. Well, do you wonder that since a triangle has an interior, it would have an exterior too? So let's say this is the interior. The shaded portion is the interior of this triangle and 1, 2, 3 are the interior angles. Now everything that is outside this triangle, so that is this grey, entire grey region, this is the exterior of the triangle. Now since it has interior angles, it would have exterior angle also. Let's see how we define this exterior angle. So 1 is the interior angle. 1 is the interior angle. What would be this exterior angle to A? So extend this side. I extend this side. Now the angle that this extended side makes. This extended side can make two angles. One with side AB. The second with side AC. The extended side, the angle which the extended side makes with the next side. So this is the next side because AC is the side which is extended. So I cannot make the angle with AC. So AC is extended, I make the angle with the next side which is AB. So this becomes the exterior angle. So this is the exterior angle. This is exterior of angle A. Interior of angle A, exterior of angle A. Similarly, if I produce AB, now what do I see? Produce AB and the angle this AB produced makes with the next side which is BC. Now this becomes the exterior angle B. This is exterior of angle B. What you would notice is that at any point there are two sides that are meeting. So I can extend both the sides. Either this or this. So what would the exterior angle be had I produced AB? If I produce AB then exterior angle would be the angle that this produce line makes with the next, next, next line. Since AB is produced this is the next line. Again this too can be called exterior of angle A. Note here that exterior of angle A, you can take any of these since these are two intersecting lines and vertically opposite angles are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle. But you can take either of these two, not both of them. If I ask you exterior of angle A, don't draw both of these angles and say these are exterior of angle A. Draw either of these two and that would be marked as the exterior angle of A. Also note that exterior angle A plus the interior angle is always adds up to 180 degrees because it lies on the straight line. So exterior and interior angles at any point exterior and interior here also interior plus this would be the exterior of angle C 
So interior and exterior are always in linear pair. They always add up to 180 degrees. So let's see this. I have this as my triangle ABC and angle 4 is the exterior angle at point C. I know that 4 plus 3 would give me 180 degrees since linear pair we've just seen. Also since this is a triangle I know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 sum of angles should be equal to 180 degree in a triangle. Since 4 plus 3 is also 180, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is also 180 degrees. So I can easily say that angle 4 would be equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. So does this give a relation? What is angle 4? Exterior angle of C. What is 1 and 2? Now 1 and 2 are opposite angles to C. In fact they are interior opposite angles to C. So exterior angle of C is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles. This is what it says. It's the theorem which says exterior angles of a triangle should be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So another way to look at it is you have this triangle ABC. Angle 4 is the exterior angle. You want to prove that angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. Let's draw parallel lines here. So I extend AB and at C I draw a parallel line to AB. So these two are the parallel lines. So now I have this triangle again. What I see is this would be angle 1. Why? Again interior alternate angles I spot a Z. So as I see a Z I can say that these angles would be the same interior alternate angles. This would be equal to 2. Why? Because corresponding angles can be spotted by the letter F. So you see this slanted F here and so this angle would be equal to this angle because they are corresponding angles these two lines are parallel. So what I see is that this angle is 1 plus 2 whereas this was here 4. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 4. And hence I can say that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So now can you tell me what would angle 5 be equal to? So angle 5 is the exterior angle of B. Angle 5 would be equal to alternate interior angles opposite so opposite side is AC, opposite interior angles and 1 and 3. So angle 5 would be equal to angle 1 plus angle 3. Note that angle 5 would not be equal to 4 plus 6. 4 and 6 are the exterior angles here. So angle B, exterior of angle B which is angle 5 would be equal to sum of opposite interior angles. Opposite interior angles 1 and 3. So I can say that angle 5 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 3. What would angle 5 be here? Again, angle 5 is exterior angle of A, side opposite to A, it is BC. Opposite interior angles are angle B and angle C which is 45 and 60. So we know that angle 5 should be equal to which is the exterior angle sum of opposite interior angles which is angle B plus angle C. Angle B is 45 degrees and angle C is 60 degrees. So I get 60 plus 45 is 105 degrees. So angle 5 is equal to 105 degrees. Another way to approach this would be you know sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So 45 plus 60 plus interior of angle A would be 180 degrees. So from there I can find angle A. Angle A means interior of angle A. Angle A plus angle B which is 45 degrees plus angle C which is 60 degrees is equals to 180 degrees. Now angle A plus 105 degrees, 60 plus 45 would be 180 degrees. So I get angle A would be 180 
minus 105. So this would be 75 degrees. So I get that angle A, interior of angle A is 75 degrees. Now I know that interior and exterior angles are always in linear pair. So interior of angle A plus exterior of angle A should add up to 180 degrees. Linear pair, interior of angle A is we know angle A which is 75 degrees. So 75 degrees plus exterior of angle A is angle 5 which you want to find should be 180 degrees and angle 5 would be 180 minus 75 which would again turn out to be 105 degrees. This is what you would found and hence you can appreciate that it is much easier to use this that exterior angle would be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles.